Hello guys and girls and welcome to one more AI Artist TV. I'm your host Kitaros and we have a lot to catch up. Between the many features that Midjourney put out, one of them is called Pen, which is ability to panning around the picture that we are working on, where we have to write new prompts to that to, to draw in new areas of the picture. And I think it's an amazing feature and I want to start covering some of those new features of Midjourney. Today here, I want you to learn how to start the where we start in the picture and what makes sense for us to pan it around and how we're going to be drawing to make a big composition as you want okay in the end i believe this is, will be a very good skill i believe it might even change the way you're thinking about prompting and the way you're thinking about working uh, along the way as i said here i will be covering more and more about new features that they are coming there's a lot of interesting ones i will try to stay today very focused only on the painting and next videos i will cover more stuff okay so let's jump to my big journey and let's start playing Okay, here we are now at my Discord, and let's start playing with this painting around. Uh, one good subject to painting around is, for example, any picture that we could add, go adding elements around. And I had an idea here, which I think is going to be cool. What about we do the Iron Maiden? So I'm doing here a prop that will be uh, Imagine Iron Maiden. I think I never did a, a rock and roll team of my views. Iron Maiden, Eddy. Eddie is that skeleton zombie mascot of Iron Maiden, and I think it will be fun. So what I'm trying to do here is just to just pretty much get his face or his chest. I'm doing square. I'm not doing any any aspect radio here. So uh, let's get uh, some pictures of Eddie here, that creepy ex skeleton all thrown for that. And also, I don't want him doing many things. I pretty much want that like the first one, like with, with the face. And that's always a good start. So if you're doing a mod, if you're doing a composition, think a little bit what would be the center of, of composition. So let's get this one here, which which I will consider to create something. Let's try to create a poster for Iron Maiden. So as you see here right now, it doesn't give me any penny, penny property. Now when I get the bigger version, the, the, that version here, it's giving us some, some options here. First thing I want to do here is to create his body. Let's go here and... I will click the painting down, so I will create a new section of Eddie, and because it's still being about Eddie's body, so what I'm gonna say here is uh, Iron Maiden Eddie play. Uh, I will put a red guitar. So I want I want it playing a red guitar. So right now what I did was just add more elements to the same subject that I'm working on. And by the way, this prop here has only subjects. It's just giving me the subject with now play a red guitar. Here we are. Let's think about its legs. I will keep going down and I will keep working on the on the same element. Let's wait. Okay, here we are. It's loaded. So now we have uh, Eddie play a guitar. I will get the, the one I like most here. I think this this one here, the first one is the one I, I like most. Now we start from the top. I, I control the element. I say now put this guy playing guitar. So let's go keep down one more time. And let's put uh, Eddie playing guitar wearing a uh, flaming leather pants so now i'm going down again now after the guitar what i think you're gonna have would be the pants so as you can see when you're using painting we can pretty much go drawing slowly instead of just had created one prop saying create edit for made play guitar you're gonna be with all elements now i'm controlling much better each step of my picture that's why i mentioned in the beginning that maybe this will be changed the way you make it let's wait Okay, we have now the, our Eddie playing guitar. It doesn't show leather plants, but it shows the flame in his legs. That's okay. I'm happy with that. Let's pick one of these one here. Let's get, let's grab this number three. When, I, when I'm working now with this, and you can see this happening here already, I can only go up and down. Whatever we choose direction we choose, and we kind of go on that direction, the up and down on that, on that vector, until we make it square again. That's the first rule we need to understand. But you don't, you don't necessarily need to go following the same subject that we are working on. Now I'm going to give you an example. We have uh, Eddie with uh, with uh, with uh, his guitar and uh, with flame here. And now I'm going to change the on the vector again to go up. And when I do up now, I will cut this thing here and I and I will add a new element here, detach it from Eddie. I will say uh, clouds and lightning bolts. I will just say clouds and lightning bolts. And I, I didn't mention anything about Eddie. So that's that's one part of the things to, to, to consider. When you are working on a new element that fits easily on the picture we are working on, we can go straight and say what 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 is it being this new area without mentioning the area below. 
Okay. If it was an element related to Eddie, I probably would say, I would put the same props and add that prop. But now I'm just creating a new element in the back so I can, and, and that area so I can, I don't need to mention Eddie again. And you're going to see that add, we're going to stay there intact. Okay. Here, here we are now with the results. Uh, the new element is totally added to Eddie. I will get the first one here to show you better. It's totally added to Eddie and without changing anything on the other parts that, that we use of Eddie. But notice one thing, right now, pretty much could keep going and we'll get some image in a very different proportion. Now it's a big poster that, that we have for Romeda. You can get the area at the top, put the logo Romeda or in the fire if you want, whatever you choose. And you're going to say, okay, how I can keep going now to the other directions. A direction we could go now, I could go up and say planets. I could go down, say, say underground, bo other god bodies, whatever you can go. But um, let's go back to the, to the square now. So, okay, so we have to make it square. Let's see what's what's happening. We are back to the to this the square results where we just started with a eddy with uh with a face. Now we have a whole composition with fire at the bottom, play a guitar, thunder skies. So let's say now that I want to keep moving to, to one to one of the direction. Let's now let's now try to move to the left side. When I'm going back to square, I have now the options to go here again. Let's just go for, for the left side. And let's and let's go back here with the prop that I copy, which is Iron Maiden Hattie playing a red guitar, wearing a, a flame plates with a zombie. I will put best player by his side. Let's see what happens. Sometimes a mid journey create this composition uh, with a different aspect of background. Sometimes it keeps the same fluence of, of the scene. It's pretty much uh, a hit and miss. But what we are doing right now here, I'm I'm creating this adding. The information about Eddie because I want this to be a, a fluid thing. I think it will be fluid. It seems that we got this in, in a fluid way because I mentioned Eddie, Eddie as being with this guy. If I was just creating sometimes the the, the new element without uh, including the the other prompt, it could pretty much create a new 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 image by the side. And now you're gonna say okay, but when you create the thunder sky in the top, why didn't you mention that we want Eddie with a with a lightning sky background? I could. Maybe it would get, would have given the same results, but if, but you just say that if you were going for a brand new area, decide to speak about the background, you can go straight and don't need to say anything. So here we are now. Uh, we have the the new band member here playing bass. Let's open this this the first one here. Uh, I could pretty much play the whole band here uh, if you say so. We have here in the foreground, we have Eddie, and now we put the new member here play playing by the side. So. Now we can go, to, now, now as you can see here, we can go only for the two sides. Now we are working the vector of sides or the zoom as well. But now we're gonna make, we go for the, to the other side. And let's let's try it out when I go to the other side. I get here a uh, zombie with zombi the best player by his side and a drummer by the other side. Drummer is a hard thing to do, okay? Well, let's see if it happens. I'm just adding a new one and I'm trying to, to improve the, the, the other side say that has a drummer i instead of saying the other side i would say by the left side just to, to help me join understand what I, what I want that drummer so let's see in the beginning we had a a, a vertical poster now we are creating a horizontal poster for, for iron maiden and let's see what happens he didn't make a drummer i see he made another bass player maybe a, another drummer a drummer. He, he made another guitar player uh as i said drummer is is something maybe i'll say playing drums maybe we'll get a better result Okay, here we are with the results got from this one. So let's open here uh, the number four. I like how the number four got in the image. This is it. Uh, now we learn to go up and down and we learn to to, to expand all, all the elements. Uh, as you see, it keeps uh, all the background making sense, right? So this, the cloud still makes sense. All the elements are still, are still play with all the areas we are. So uh, I make it square to have more area. Uh, let's see what happens. Let's see how we're going to fill up the bottle at the top. They're probably going to keep on the same thing, on the same sense of flames and, and brown stuff and, and, and a cloudy sky at the top. Let's wait. So here we are with the results. I, I kind of expected that it will be just any more elements. Uh, let's open here the number three to show what we have when we go on square, on painting, we're back to square. Now it gave me a lot of options here. I could go main. I can use the very region to play with some regions. I can do a lot of stuff. But now we have the, the square image. Um, guys, but I like much more to wrap up here. And I use this as the background of my video. I like much more this result here. So let's get this one here. Click web to get this result. 
as big as possible here for us and conclude that video today guys thank you so much i hope you guys understand a little bit more about penny left and right up and down uh please follow give me a like if you learned something about penny and how much cool things you can do some people are doing crazy images, super large full of elements now me journey because now we can add one by one and play with one by one this is amazing i always complain about the problem that me journey could have on dealing with too many elements now we can add one by one and work yes you gotta stay a little bit longer but you know what you gotta be really working as an artist on each part of your composition and that's what maybe the most important part of being AI artist, you'll be able to work at each, each step of your screen, each step of your composition. I love it. I love that that, that new feature uh, very goes very well. That the very now that you can paint as well uh, some areas and change some elements. It's even better that, that to, to 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 final touch things and elements like this, the painting and the very really. I really feel that I'm work like I have a pencil in my hand, playing with the parts and adding more 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 on my canvas and that's what's the what's being very nice thank you so much please like please subscribe join my patreon we have my i have my patreon with a lot of a lot of more material for you to work on and to understand to learn and thank you so much see you guys next time